guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. So let's start off with Cardi B, okay? Because it looks like 11 Faces might be heading into the courtroom once again. Because... Um, a contemporary pop artist known for transforming the Simpsons art says he might take legal action against Cardi B for recreating his work. His name is Alessandro, and he claims that Cardi B was never authorized to use his art for her October 31st post, where the rapper portrays Marge Simpson in a dress cutout on the backside to expose her but cleavage, okay? Um, so let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, my thing is, um, Cardi B is an original. So, of course, she's going to take from other artists. I mean, she copies everybody. She don't even write her own raps. What do people really expect from Criminal B, okay? And, you know, it's not like she's held accountable for taking people's art or taking people's lyrics. She's been doing it ever since she got in the game. OK, um, what hasn't Cardi B taken? She doesn't have her original face. She took that. Don't have her original teeth. She took that. Don't got original bars. She took that. I mean, she don't have nothing original. What is original about 11 faces? We don't know. Let me know if you believe the pop artist Alessandro should sue Cardi B for taking his art, his design and using it for her Halloween costume. Let me know in the comments. Moving on to Nicki Minaj. So there's these rumors going around that Nicki Minaj has a collaboration with Christina Aguilera, okay, who is a pop icon. Christina Aguilera is super talented, but I don't need a Nicki and Christina Aguilera collaboration, okay? Um, I think that Nicki should be done doing collaborations that are not going to necessarily be beneficial for her or any D and F list collaborations. I feel like we're past that phase, you know, with like just helping others and not getting anything back. And even though I love Christina Aguilera right now, musically, her relevancy has gone down. Okay. And it's really no shade, but she should have never signed to Rock Nation. That was her first mistake because she was under Rock Nation for a while. And you know, Camel Face don't care about no Christina Aguilera. You know, he does this all the time where he has signed an artist and then he won't push them. And she was under Rock Nation. And I think that's part of the reason why, you know, her career kind of went downhill. Okay. I'm sure there's other reasons too. But with that being said, I feel like Nikki. We need these cultural resets um, collaborations, okay? We need that Kendrick Lamar, another Rihanna collaboration. And before y'all get upset, half of y'all don't support a collaboration unless it's getting a major push. And that's really no shade. I mean, the NBA um, collaboration, like she killed that feature. But y'all did not care because NBA Youngboy is blacklisted. So y'all didn't care. Y'all didn't care about that Young Blue collaboration. And I doubt that y'all would care about this Christina Aguilera collaboration. Okay, because I haven't seen Christina Aguilera get no support from the industry or the fans in years when it comes to her music. And then on top of that, they've already collaborated in the past. I mean, we don't need another collaboration. They've already done one in the past. Okay, let's be very clear. It would not be the first collaboration Christina and um, Nikki have done, but we don't need another one, okay? And it's really no shade. Doja Cat doing her symbolisms again, holding up the devil's horn, okay? And I think that Doja Cat is the new Illuminati princess in the industry. She do her symbolisms like every week. She being out the pop girlies, and Queen B. Queen B used to always do her symbolisms, but she hasn't really been on the internet like that. But Doja Cat going to find a way to do her symbolisms. And then she's going to troll you about doing her symbolisms and pretend like she's not doing nothing. Okay? And then the kitty litters, they're going to be like, oh, no, Doja Cat's just trolling. Why every day she trolling? Okay? 
She's doing her symbolisms. She's part of the industry. And I don't believe that she has her soul. I'm sorry. Um, there's no reason why you need to troll 24-7. Okay? And how can you troll on a magazine cover? You troll on social media. She's doing her symbolism. She's part of the industry. The Illuminati princess is here. The untalented crew is teaming up. Glow Stick and Scratch Off got a new song coming out Friday. I told you Lottery Ticket was going to hop on this wave. Everybody trying to hop on the Glow Rilla wave. I'm telling y'all. Megan and the City Thoughts are next. Okay? They going to hop on the Glow Stick and Glow Rilla Glue wave. And the reason why is because she's basically the new it girl. And they're seeing how, you know, she got 11 faces attention um, there's rumors that Queen B had reached out to her. So she's the new it girl. So of course, lottery ticket is going to team up with her because she's been flopping and she needs to chart. So let me know if you guys will be supporting Gorilla Glue and lottery tickets, new single coming out Friday. Now, um, allegedly they said that it had already leaked. I didn't hear the leak. Okay. So I don't know where they talking about it leaked. So let me know in the comments if you think that Scratch Off's Ghost Rider is going to do a good job on this song. Let me know. Because um, we already know that Lottery Ticket don't write. She's a female reciter. Um, after all these reference tracks came out, you can't say that she writes. I mean, she was saying word for word on Blick Blick. Um, we heard the reference track for Low Energy. We heard the reference track for A Whole Lot of Money. This girl don't write. All she do is tweet. Okay. Talking about she wrote on the game show from like 10 years ago. But she doesn't write currently. Because ain't no way you can write currently and then you have all these reference tracks leak every week. It's impossible. Okay? For songs that are currently out. Songs that you were not even on. But you got the reference track first and then they gave it to the artist that they really wanted the song to go to. Okay, no shade. Um, I'm not looking forward to the untalented crew linking up. Moving on to Zendaya. So there has been reports that Zendaya and her boyfriend Tom Holland might be walking down the aisle pretty soon because they are gearing up to settle down and they are talking about getting married. Okay, so let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, I can see them getting married, and I can also see them getting a divorce in like five to ten years, and then Zendaya being with a woman. Okay, I can see that happening too. It happens all the time in Hollywood. You know, we just see these people be together for like five to ten years, then they break up, then you see them with somebody else. I mean, that's perfectly normal. Um, I feel like they are a cute couple. For Spider-Man, um, I don't really get into them like that. But um, let me know if you guys would be here for Zendaya and Tom getting married. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. She has made history because she is the first black woman to be on the cover of Forbes 30 Under 30. Okay. Now, to me, I don't know how this could be possible when there's been several women who've made like twice as much as Megan Thee Stallion. But, you know, the devil works hard, but Rock Nation works harder. OK, that's what I'm gathering from this, because I just don't understand how Beyonce was never on the cover. You know, there's been a lot of different artists that have been in the game before they hit 30 and they've made way more than Megan, you know? And I understand that she's a college graduate, but she's not doing anything spectacular, okay? No shade. It's not like she's using her degree right now to build facilities or whatever she was supposed to do with her degree. Um, all she's doing right now is making music and twerking and doing brand deals like everybody else. So I just feel like this was definitely Rock Nation's doing, no shade. And um, I don't feel like it was well-deserved, in my opinion. You think about all the other icons that have never been on the cover. Maybe they declined. And it's just so funny. Megan is the first black woman to be on the cover. Interesting. Anyway, um, I think that this has a lot to do with the Tory Lanez case. Every time, you know, the Tory Lanez case... Makes the media. Here comes Megan and her team with a magazine cover. That's what I think. But anyway, I got a new video uploaded on Patreon. Um, link will be in my description. 
and I hope you guys have an amazing day.